Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you guys with my Wantable unboxing for the month of January. So I'm pretty much just going to get to it and show you guys what I got. I did peek in the box because I was so excited about last month's box that I just couldn't wait. I got four items in my box. So I actually have a return receipt here and I will tell you guys why. Um, <clears throat> the first thing I got, which is disturbing, is a cream shadow and it is by bodyography and the color is in gleam I'm just gonna open this for you guys and swatch it I guess um, I had already swatched the product so I will pop this bad boy open there's chunks of it everywhere I don't know if you guys can see that um, it looks kind of awkward I will zoom in so you guys can see all this stuff that's going on so um, as you can see I've swatched it already there but the product is uh, 3D-ish and it looks like there's some clumps of poo. So yeah, for lack of better words, the display of this product is very disturbing to me. Um, it looks like cat poop covered with gold glitter. Um, I actually swatched each piece individually and it was just, it felt awkward. So I'm just gonna swatch it just for hahas. This is a cream product. And I don't know, it's just disturbing. That's the product right there. It's a bronzy color. Um, there's not much um, color payoff to it, but that's it right there. I mean, it's bronzy. And then, like, if I take... I'm going to call them poop pellets. If I take an individual chunk and place that on there, it's a darker bronze. And then, of course, the white is more pale. It's actually the white is really pretty the the white speckles are actually really golden I don't know overall this product is supposed to be bronze I can't get over it I just I, I don't know I just ugh. the presentation itself on the package was disturbing enough as is I'm just supposed to stick I just I didn't I don't know I don't know what to think of this product I'm just wiping it off my fingers because I feel creeped out um it just felt like I don't know it just felt disturbing I guess um, I just felt like what am I supposed to use this for it's not something that I kind of gravitate towards if I use any cream products it would be as bases but it was just disturbing in itself to find it looks like oh, I can't keep saying it looks like crap it looks like crap with like a gold glitter overlay to it and it's just oh. and this product was $20 twenty dollars I mean the color are pretty um I just I, I don't know I, I'm particular you, you guys that have watched my channel for a while know that there's just certain things I don't like I don't like them there's you can't get me to like them so anyway the next product I got which I actually liked but no it's not even worth keeping is the Lord and Barry ultimate lip liner and this one is in bare and it is a pretty color it is a nude the thing of it is it feels like it's rough like even swatching it doesn't feel creamy at all it feels like it would just be a very rough lip liner and that's the color right there so if anything I got glitter all over myself oh ugh. so anyway this is a really pretty color but this is $18 and for that price I could just go to Mac and pick up something creamier I don't know, it just felt kind of rough. Um, it's not the first Lord & Berry product I've received either. And they're mm, lackluster, for lack of better words. So the next thing I got is a full-size mascara. And I got it upside down. It's from Frankie Rose Cosmetics. And it is a blue mascara. And I actually was mm, willing to keep it and try it. Um, and the packaging is like metal, kind of. It's heavy. It's very simplistic, but it's so pretty. It's just, it's pretty. The color's in blue. And the wand is a regular long wand. As you can see, I don't know if you guys can see the color. The color on the wand is pretty. It's a really pretty color. There's no smell to it, thank God. Um, but I felt, I don't know, I'm fiddling with it. I don't know. I did try it because I said, you know what, I get this box every month. I need to try these products. I was not happy with this box at all whatsoever. I'm just, as you can tell, if if you didn't if you needed to hear it from the horse's mouth, I'm gonna tell you I dislike this box very much. Um, and that's a first. 
truly for me for once well for now but anyway I mean it's pretty blue it's like the royal blue it goes on darker blue on the lashes problem with this is I can't layer it it's very dry like almost like a extremely waterproof mascara but it could be because of the pigments in it that it's so drying and it kind of crisps the lashes and I did it on both eyes top and bottom it looked really pretty I thought this would be something I can use on my bottom lashes just to add a pop of color but I didn't like the way that it made it didn't give any volume any lengthening to my lashes it gave them color even though this says mascara lush lengthening um, it did nothing for my lashes uh, at all and it barely tinted them I don't know it just eh. and this was $20 as well um, so the last item I got was from all natural and it is a uh, organic cruelty free hypoallergenic bronzer it's sun kiss glow and you get six grams of product in here which is quite a bit now I when I tweaked my personal settings I put that I was okay with loose powders when it comes to highlights and bronzers now I didn't even need to open it it actually came there's a seal on it but it came popped open and that's the product I already have a bronzer like this from my friend's line and this looks very very familiar and that's it right there let me see where I can swatch it, it is it just came to me this messy and I was like uh okay this is this is beautiful I don't like the messiness of it um, and it's not something I would use personally I wouldn't mind having something like this in my kit for my deeper complected um, clients but I just there's other stuff I can use I don't know I just wasn't excited about this I didn't like that it kind of came messy I'm very OCD when it comes to packaging looking ugh used <laughs> so that was pretty much it for my wantable box now the good thing about this is that I reached out to them and I know that you can return items and get a partial uh, return which is a great option to have especially when you're spending $36 on a monthly box so a lot of people might be standoffish like oh, I'm not gonna like all the products you can always return the products um, I don't know if they do exchanges I'm not very familiar with that this is my first box that I'm returning and I already have the shipping label printed out um, they provide that and I'm actually getting a full refund I did inform them that I swatched everything I just wasn't happy with everything and you know that I wanted to return it because I didn't know how to go about it and I didn't want to make a mistake online something that I just could not undo so I contacted them first it's really really easy to do the return you just go under your orders and you can review everything and you can also return um this is my first return and I hope it's my last I am extremely not happy with it so I went back to my profile and tweaked it to what I'm hoping is a better outcome so yeah that's pretty much it for my January Wantable unboxing I hope you guys like this video please thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and as always I'll see you guys in my next video love you guys Bye.